All right, <clears throat> why don't we go ahead and jump into this. Uh, so I will start at the top of the agenda. And uh, I guess we have the triage, so we'll do the uh, we'll do the one off item first. So Jenny, uh, I see that you're wanting to discuss this particular Jira issue. Uh, yeah, I found that uh, on the uh, um, SNO cluster, uh, it had some troubles to import uh, an archive uh, content type mm -hmm. using LVMS. And um, like at first, I thought maybe like we can promote it to a, a blocker or something, but um, maybe it's not that a blocker. Like you can you can untar your files and import uh, like not not archived. Mm -hmm. so there's simple okay. workaround, but still um, okay. Mm, okay, so is a, do we know what the PVC that's being created is for this? Because I'm guessing that maybe there's a, just a mistake in the... PVC is not being created at oh. all. Is this because we're missing a file system mode in the storage profile? Because uh, you can't... Yeah. There is a file system mode in the storage profile. There's first is a block and second is file system. And the PVC is prime PVC and the prime scratched. The, the, like they all created this file system. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's a problem in the import populator probably. Actually, I don't see the um, the importer pod even scheduling like it's failing to schedule if you scroll down yeah uh there is the importer pod yaml and if you scroll down to the status section it's failing to schedule um on, on like the volume binding pre-bind plugin whatever that is That is odd. I'm trying to understand why this would be, why it would matter on the file system volume. Yeah, it's to me, it seems like any import should fail. So uh, my suggestion on this one for further diagnosis would be in the same environment, uh, try to uh, import a Qbert uh, disk image, but make sure that the volume or yeah, the volume mode is hard coded to file system, like read write once file system uh, in this environment, because that's what like the result of, I mean, this PVC, I'm, I'm just going to double check it, but it should have been created. Yeah, read write once file system. So if we use the same uh, storage class, volume mode, and access mode, except try to import a, a cubevert disk image, um, I would expect to see the same error. I'm, I'm ex my expectation is this has to do with binding a PVC with these file, like file system modes, but you'd think that they would check that. So... Like I tried to create with explicitly block uh, volume mode, and it told me that block uh, that uh, archive are not supported with block. Good, um, good. Okay, yep, that's ex that's what should have happened. Yeah, but okay, I will try with explicit file system. I don't think the archive bit has anything to do with the bug here. Like uh, I don't I can't see the relation to archive. I don't either, except for that archive is forcing um, a file system mode PV where we otherwise would have used block because in this particular environment, we'll favor uh, read write once block uh, for VM disks. And here we're, we're forcing it to file system. So that's why I wanted to try with, just to eliminate the whole archive uh, concept from the mix. Yeah, okay. It, and and when it's not archive and it's just a raw image or QCO, it it succe succeeds. But so. did you force it to file system mode? Uh, no. Okay, do, yeah. Yeah, do that because I think 
I'm just wondering if there's some sort of issue with binding file system PVs and it could have to do with um, owner groups or permissions or I have no idea. Um, maybe maybe there's a missing capability on the uh, on the pod. I don't know exactly. Like the failed scheduling is interesting. Um, it'd be great to if we could get more information uh, on the scheduling and why that's failing. I don't know if there's events related to the importer pod. Um, but this, yeah, this condition that pre bind thing, yeah, that's that would be the reason. Yeah, so we we need to figure out some more information about that. I didn't even know there were plugins for this, so I don't. Maybe there's a maybe the pre bind plugin is like is that something to do with CSI? I think it's uh, the entry that the flow it goes through the entry. Uh scheduling okay maybe particularly wait for first consumer uh, or could there storage. be a schedule could there be a scheduler plug-in like isn't there a way to override the kubernetes scheduling and maybe they're trying to do that with um possible yeah with lvmo um so yeah okay all right so those are that's what i would recommend for next uh troubleshooting steps on that one just to see and let's try to eliminate factors from this i'm guessing it just has to do with file system mode is broken for our pods for some reason okay okay i'll try okay cool all right so let me close this and we'll come back to uh so that was, I guess next is triaging issues. So we can start here. Um, we have the image files, virtual image size changes when uploading to a data volume with a different size. Okay, uh, when I update it to a one gig data volume. I thought we were, it was a couple of weird things for me here. <clears throat> I thought that we were not using file extensions to infer file types because that's like error prone so that we were actually looking at the header bits of the file to see if it's a QCOW2. Um, so I'm surprised that changing the file extension is actually having any effect on how we treat the file. That's my first uh, ponderance, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, secondarily, like expanding to fill the PVC is uh, is desired behavior. So let's see what else has been said. Okay, yeah. Just reading Alexander's comments. Okay, is he using a block PV then? That's what it sounds like. Um, read, write many, block. Force upload.
Oh, it's is it the G G versus G I? Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I'm not sure any thoughts on next steps for this. It seems like they're still pretty active. Well, that was two weeks ago that this was happening. I could see if uh, he was able to resolve the issue. I think I think it was sort of just understanding what the system is doing. So. Something like this. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's pop back up to the issues. This was 3095. Okay. So we have a couple more. Um, operator does not work with error config map CDI API server signer bundle not found. There's no comments on this one yet. Doesn't this sound like the usual um, a wrong uninstall order issue? Mm. So there, there have this weird CDI state. Let's see, he's got some logs here. Oh, I can't share that because it's a different screen. So I'm going to open it and then you guys won't see it, but feel free to click on it, I guess. Unable to get controller reference using namespace. Uh, wow, well, the spell checker on my text editor is making this very hard to read. Um, Configure, config map not found. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Reconciling CDI CR. Yeah, okay. So I think this is probably just going to need somebody to dig in a little bit deeper on the logs. Um, I don't want to put that proposal that it's just a I mean I guess I could ask is this a fresh installer have you tr tried to install it yeah I like I don't understand if if I don't think you can get to this state otherwise Okay, so let's see there. Uh, and yeah, if somebody wants to peek in on those logs, it may be interesting. Okay, next and final one is vertctl image upload failed to upload image. Execute the following command.
Windows image. PVC not found, created, pod ready, uploading. So we got unexpected return value 502. It's a 502 again, that's an error. Let's see. Connection reset. This is sometimes just happens. Um, we had a uh, upload retry. Um, so I'm just going to put uh, we had a bug for this, uh, like to retry the upload. But um, I don't think that we know that. Yes. Currently, we do not support auto retry and or uh, or resume. And you uh, um Uh, this is what I'm just going to suggest for right now. Yeah, uploads a pretty complex uh, capability or um, up re resuming or uh, retrying failures is a pretty complex feature to add. We see, I feel like we see this uh, occasionally uh, that this happens. So that is what I've suggested. Let's see what happens there. Um, that is all the issues, unless there's another one that someone would like to revisit. Alvaro, were there any uh, that you identified further down the list that deserve a uh, revisit? Okay, uh, either you're on mute or did not hear. So um, let's go back to the agenda. I don't see any other items. So does anyone have any other topics they would like to discuss today? Yeah, I can add about this bug. I tried with the file system explicitly and the result is a very similar. No PV and pod, importer pod is not scheduled. Okay. Uh, maybe even you could just go directly uh, bypass CDI and just create a PVC and a pod, and I, I think it'll just not work. And, okay. okay. Yep, that would be the a good next step for sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to eliminate it or simplify it as much as possible, and then uh, I think what we're probably going to need to do is um, maybe open an issue with the, uh, I'm, it seems, I'm guessing that it's uh, provisioner related. So with the uh, LVMS, okay. I'm guessing they're installing a, um, some kind of Kubernetes scheduling enhancement and it doesn't like something that's happening, but. And we have a lot of failures now with, on uh, SNO with LVMS. Uh, like okay. Also in the, in storage CDI and in Kubernetes lanes and in SSP. So 
Okay, so maybe this is an early indicator that they have some sort of a serious regression here. Yeah. Probably. Okay, thank you. Cool. Yeah, thanks for raising it. All right, any other topics or uh, things that people want to discuss before we end the meeting today? Going once, going twice. All right, we'll end here. Thanks everybody for joining and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.